And we're over here at the Wiegand Meltzer booth and we're back with Frank. We interviewed him last year. Frank, how are you doing? Hi Taylor, just how are you? So good to be back here to Orlando. We all started with Slide Coaster. We presented the model first time in uh, Shanghai. Uh, on Ayapa in, in June and this is what happens when a roller coaster and a water slide are having a baby this is what comes out so we can now present the final product and not just an idea so it also has been recognized to a final product because uh, we appreciate very from Ayapa that we won the brass ring for the best new ride concept this may help us to to find now the first client congratulations that is Awesome. So Thank you guys you so uh, seen lots of interest as you've gone through not just the Orlando IAPA but uh, others in the past. Are, are people taking notice to the slide coaster? Yes, uh, people took a lot of notice in Shanghai and Paris but Orlando is now the expo so a lot of interest here. We had a lot of nice uh, conversations with uh, potential clients from all over the world. So the interest is huge. We almost ran out of our uh, flyers. Um, yeah, good feedback so far. Awesome. So. Uh, since last time we spoke, I know there's been some design modifications uh, yes, with right. the system. Do you want to go in a little bit more in depth to some of those? Right, so we worked a lot on the uh, safety issues, a lot on the catch car which is picking you up, the flapping mechanism in the, in the video which is now uh, made in, in June. It was roughly shown how we want to do it, but not in detail. So now these issues are solved, we have construction plans and we are ready to go. Great, um, so we have a brand new model. Tell us about it because it's something we did not see last year. Yeah, so the model you see, is, it's really nice. It shows uh, just the basic layout. The layouts are custom designed, so we can build it uh, to the customer's needs. Uh, it shows the vehicle moving up and down. Not as fast as it's in, in real time, so it's just a model to, to show what's going on there. The things uh, you cannot see in the model right now is uh, the development uh, of issues like uh, operations and safety. For example, if you look at the highest point at the curve, we will have sensors to track the refs and once they pass the highest point and they go down by gravity to the water slides, so the pusher goes back to the station and pick up the, the, the next refs where the guests are waiting already. We solved some, some issues about the station, so equipment uh, to, to load and unload operations. So there's also much going on what is not showing in the model because the model is uh, we built in June for IAPA Shanghai and there has been a lot of development from Shanghai up to now in Orlando. So the catch car has this unique notch where that fits into the back of the seats to, to kind of lock it in place. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? It will be it will be a soft part. It will be more like a shoe which is wrapping around the raft that you have no spaces where you can grab up your hands in where hair can get uh, get into the mechanics. So there's a lot of more space, uh, clearance around. You cannot touch anything. We have a mechanism like uh, uh, we're working together with Technical University in Munich. They develop the seats, the form and function that people more lay in the raft and they, they, that they are not sitting upright. So we still need no lap bar, but it makes it difficult for you to stand up during the launch. The raft is the restraint, so we want to keep the character of the water slide. You will be held back by the form, how the boat is shaped in the raft, but you won't have active lap bars. The design of the raft itself changed also. Maybe we have more spaces, more spaces to the pusher, more spaces to mechanics, but we found a solution how we, how we have a safe connection from the pusher to the raft. This kind of connection also prevents that the raft will lift. Some people were afraid the force could be too much that the, uh, that the ref would lift during the launch. We have a mechanism to hold the, the ref down, but you still don't need restraints because it's not locked to the, to the ref. It's still possible to enlarge the, the vehicle, so once we have the prototype, we're going to, to test larger, um, larger refs if they match with our calculations. So it's maybe possible to have three or four in one ref. And also the flapping arms can be uh, extended to two more. So we have four slides in total launching up. We have uh, design contracts in progress where we design uh, new layouts. This one has only been a very basic layout, but now we come up with some more interesting layouts. So they will be like a, like a racing, like a dwelling slide uh, with up and downs also in the ride. So it will be quite interesting to, to um, show everyone the new layouts we created.